In less than 24 hours, we will be seeing the first ever knockout game of the 2024 European Championships, or simply known as the Euros. Now, I have not been a big follower of the Euros up until like the most recent one before this one, so 2021, and I had a blast watching that tournament, especially that final, because I did not want England to win, and Italy won on penalties, and it was a great time for me to watch that. But also... This, this tournament so far has been pretty good, if I do say so myself. I did not see every game, but I've seen a couple games. So before we get into the predictions of the knockout stage, I want to give my predictions for the group stages, and, and, I, and I want to see how many I got correct, just to uh, make sure you guys know my predictions for that as well. So with Group A, I had Germany on top, Switzerland in second, Hungary in third, and Scotland in fourth. And I'm happy to say I got all four correct. So thumbs up for that. In group B, I had Spain on top, Croatia at the, in the second place, Italy in the third, and Albania in the fourth. Now I got two out of four there because Italy actually went on to qualify and Croatia did not sadly, so I thought that was very, very shocking. In Group C, I had England on top, Denmark second, Serbia third, and Slovenia in fourth. Well, change the order of three and four, so that is two out of four again. Now for Group D, I had France on top, Netherlands second, Poland in third, and Austria in fourth. Well, let's slap a zero out of four for that because I got all four wrong. Apparently Austria is first for some for like I did not expect that to be honest with you guys in group E I had Belgium on top Romania second Slovakia third and Ukraine fourth well, let's get one out of four there because I only got Slovakia correct and in group F I had Portugal on top Turkey second Georgia third and Czech Republic and fourth well we have another four out of four here. So I think if I'm correct, I got 13 out of 24. So that, 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 that I think that's 55%. Uh, that's not, not not too good in my opinion. I feel, I feel like I could have done better, but it's fine. These are just predictions. They don't really matter anyway. What does matter is the knockout stage. So let's get into this. And I'll just be going on the order that they're presented in Fought Mob. So, you know. If I'm looking over here, then it's because I'm looking at, you know, what matches there will be. So we have Spain versus Georgia. Easy win for Spain, moving on. Germany versus Denmark. I mean, this could be a close game for all we know, but there's a part of me thinking that Germany is going to sweep Denmark for some reason. I mean, I thought that, I mean, obviously they're going to win, but I think they're going to sweep them for some reason. And Portugal win over Slovenia, so there you go. France versus Belgium, I think... This is the one where it could actually go to penalties, in my opinion. I mean, for some reason, France have not been the best in this tournament. And for some reason, Belgium have been starting their comeback tour. So, with that in mind, I think this could be a close game. I think it's going to penalties, and Belgium win on penalties. Yeah, I said it. Come fight me. So that means we have Spain, Germany, Portugal, and Belgium in the July 5th games. Now let's go to the July 6th games. So, I mean, who's advancing to those games? So we have Romania and the Netherlands. Netherlands are absolutely going to win this match. You cannot deny that in any way. Austria versus Turkey. You know, if before this tournament has started, I probably would have said Turkey, but now I'm saying Austria. I think Austria could win this, in my opinion. Next, we have England versus Slovakia. At this point, even though England performed terribly against Slovenia and like they've just been really bad like this entire like tournament in my opinion well they've not been bad they've just been boring in my opinion not the England from 2021 that's for sure uh, so I'm gonna say that I mean even with all those flaws England might still win I think on penalties but I still feel like England will just slightly come above uh, Slovakia in this instance. Then we have Switzerland versus Italy. This should be an easy win for Italy, in my opinion. So we have our quarterfinal set. So let's go to the games happening on July 5th. So we have Spain versus Germany. This could be a really, really good match. This could be very good. Probably the match of the tournament, honestly. Um, two very good teams. And I think like they're on point teams like they know what they want and they're gonna get it 
Like, have you seen Germany absolutely destroy Scotland in the first match? It's like, that was absolutely bonkers to watch. <laughs> but I think Germany are going to win this. Uh, I don't know if it's penalty or extra time, but this is definitely not ending in standard 90 minutes. I know that for a fact. So, yeah, this is probably going to be an, a, an amazing game to watch. Then we have Portugal versus Belgium. Now, this is a very tough one to predict because this could go either way. Portugal is like an up and down team. They're, like, they're good when they want to be. And Belgium is like they have had a like, go down and down over the years. And then recently they've just gone back up with their performance in the... Oh, my microphone fell. With their <laughs> performance in the group stages. So, this could be... A tough one to predict but I'm actually going to shock some of you guys and say that Belgium is advancing so yeah sorry about that it's just my predictions though now we go on to the games on July 6 so we have Netherlands versus Austria I think the Netherlands will win this game I don't know if the Austrians will have like a like like peak out performance but I feel like the Netherlands will get their, like, revenge, honestly, like, from the group stages. I, I don't know why. I, like, obviously, like, it's probably not going to happen, but my mind just goes to the Netherlands. Then you have England versus Italy, repeats of 2021 in that crazy final. Uh, I think Italy win once again. Who knows if it's on penalties or, like, extra or standard time. I don't know what it will be in. I just know Italy will win once again. So sorry, English fans, it's not coming home. Sorry, sorry. So we have our semi-final set up. Germany versus Belgium. So I have no idea who wins this match. This could be very close. I don't know, like, this could be a very close game. It's like my mind wants to say Germany, but the other wants to say Belgium. Like, Germany has home advantage, obviously. But I feel like Germany are in a new peak. Like, every single time I, t I talk about Germany, I go back to that 5-1 opener. Like, I don't know why I always go back to that. So, it's tough but to predict, but I'm going to say Germany wins. And they advance to the final. Now, we have Netherlands versus Italy. Now, even though Netherlands have advanced to the semi-final, I think this is the, the, the part where they fumble. That's the part where they fumble and they don't make it to the final. And Italy beat them instead. I, I, it's probably going to extra time, but I think Italy win this. So we have a final of Germany versus Italy. Italy are once again in a final, at least in this part. I don't know who wins this. This could probably be a penalty game. This could probably go all the way to pens. Uh, I have zero idea who could possibly win this. I said once again, Germany has the home advantage, but England did in 2021, and they lost. So I'm going to go... I mean, I, with Germany, they're like... Germany probably know are probably Germany are probably like in a brand new prime, I believe. Like they know how to work their way around like like getting getting the win, I believe. Like that five one opener. Like they've been good all throughout the group stages and they they've now reached this far, at least in my book. So I think I think we're gonna get a perfect storybook ending. And in the Euro twenty twenty four in Germany, Germany win. So in my book, Germany are the European champions. They win in their home turf. Big celebration. Germany win a tro a big like trophy once again. You know. So yeah, that's those are my predictions. I think Germany win the Euros. I think it's going to be a good performance from both teams, but I believe Germany walk out with the win. So yeah, those are my predictions. Hopefully, I get. Hopefully I get some of some of the stuff correct. I mean if I if I get the winner right then Hopefully You know you guys can come back to this video and say oh wow Khalid was actually correct. So thank you guys so much for watching this video uh, If you want me to see me do more football stuff, let me know I the reason why I don't do much like this is probably I think the first Football video I've posted since me talking about like Messi's debut and 
Miami. So if you want to see me do more stuff, because I still pay attention to, to football. I'm not like a super fan, but I watch like the Premier League. I watch Bundesliga. I watch like like uh, La Liga. I watch uh, the European Championships, and I'm also watching Copa America. And if you want my prediction for who's going to win Copa America, I think Argentina will win it once again. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon. I want to thank you guys for showing so much love in the past three videos. All of them getting like, P like going above the average view count is amazing. Three in a row, I've never had that before. So I want to thank you guys so much for that. And hopefully this video gets it as well. So with that being said, I'm out. Peace.